Thanks for joining me again. I'm going to do um, a scene in Patterdale today. I was last there about 30 years ago when I was a school kid. We went with the school. It's still the best holiday I've ever had climbing up the uh, mountains. This is Raw Sienna. Using the, the large height brush, and uh, this is ultramarine. I hope it's light enough. It's pretty dark outside, but I've got a lamp right next to me. But it, I just get too hot with it shining, and I can't get it any further back. So I'm hoping that you can see this okay. So that's just some ultramarine blue. I'm now mixing the two colours together because I'm going to put some some hills and mountains in the distance. Nice and faint because they're far away. What I'll try and do, great piece of advice I once heard was don't paint over the same piece of paper more than once unless you have to and by doing that you end up with all these nice little effects if you, if you watch, I don't sort of go like that and then like that and then like that again I'll sort of do it once like that. and then I'll see I'm going, I'm not going from there, I'm going from here and you get all these little little things happening So they're the most distant mountains. Now, I'm going to just go with a bit of tissue. Just in fact, first, I'm going to pull the paper tight so the paper's flat because it does get it'll drive you mad after a while when it's every time you touch it, it's, it's bouncing up and down. It does your head in. I might even just scrunch it up a bit and just put a bit of. Bit of mist and cloud up there. Yeah, if a bit darker, and it'd, it'd look more effective if it was a bit darker. But what I might do, there's going to be a tree line here, so I might just lighten that area so you can get the profile of the trees a little bit easier. No, oh, there's a bit over there. And back to the brush. Um, I'm in raw sienna, a bit of light red, sort of look really sort of autumnal colour, and then something like that. Tree line, lemon yellow, pine dry to start off with. I can even, if you turn it the other way around and just flick up, get some like nice mountain tree type effects. Like Bob Ross used to do with his fan brush, just flick it up. And then in front of that we've got these, I ain't cleaning the brush, just straight into the light red, a bit of ultramar um, raw sienna, and then put another layer in. Like that. And then back into the uh, lemon yellow, and we can put a few more in. Another layer, Payne's grey. You see how the layers build up? I'm sort of twisting, see how I'm sort of twisting the, uh, the brush as well while I'm doing it from right to left. Well, anything to get a random effect, basically. Now I'm going light red, and then just straight across, straight down, and then back into that. more just 
gonna look, there's a little building there. I'm just gonna put this building in. I'm just gonna pull this tight again, it's just not quite flat. The little build, I'm just gonna put it somewhere somewhere about there. Just using a piece of card, plastic card, little roof, and then just popping in some little windows. And maybe like a big door or something there. And we'll do a few little few little fence posts giving off into the trees. That'll do. You don't have to go mad with the detail. Just a casual glance and you can just see there's, there's something there going on. <coughs> so it's back into the raw sienna. You see I'm just trying to alternate it as I'm coming down. And then lemon yellow, ultramarine. I might put a path there. Um, light red, ultramarine. Which way shall the path go? I might come from over here. And just sort of Let's get that nice and dark on the way up to it. That's nice and dark. I can just emphasize that path a bit more with a few rocks. smaller and smaller as they go off into the distance and then it's like a few um like a big tree it needs to be nice and dark so Just a few little bits of grassy there and there. So, 
just straight into the light red. And then just putting the bud in first. And then ultramarine. Mm, a bit, bit too dry this is, a bit more water. Mm, just a little stick, put him to walk with. And then up in the tree somewhere. A couple of little birds flying, stick another one up there as well, some birds flying up there and then nice and dark and down here I'm just going to stick my signature. And it's just a nice simple set of Patadala from the Lake District, hope you like that. <coughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.